Hey everyone and welcome to the next video for Flesh and Blood. Today we're looking at Wizard and the top 10 cards for Wizard. Thank you Fahad for providing his top 10 cards for this character class. The only character in Wizard at the moment is Kano, so we're just going to look at Kano's ability. Uh, it does not form part of the top 10 if you're wondering. Okay, We've got the top 10 cards after this, but it is so important to understand Kano's ability for all the cards that are selected here okay so his is as an instant you pay three resources look at the top card of your deck if it's a non-attack action card you may banish it then you if you do you may play it this turn as though it were an instant okay so everything is going to be an instant with kano that's what we're looking for so let's see what happens so number one card i have a video that's right it's a fabled card one seems to have been made just for Kano. You pitch for three, and it allows you to opt to look at the top two cards of your deck, put them in any order that you want. Works fantastic with Kano. It's a pitch for three, which Kano needs. And by pitching it, you can do his ability to just grab the card that you just put there. You can do it in any order you want and get it ready to play as an instant, all right? Storm Striders, you crack this to play your next wizard non-attack action card this turn as though it were an instant. Now you are destroying the boots at this point. It does have Arcane Barrier 2. You are doing this for the push for game. Okay, so wouldn't do it willy-nilly. You want to use that for the Arcane Barrier depending on who you're coming up against, but this ability doesn't seem like much until you see what it's loaded with with the rest of the cards. It's just amazing when I was given these cards, I was scratching my head a bit trying to wonder what was going on and then things were explained to me that, wow, glad I didn't come up against it without knowing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. All right, Crucible of Aetherweave, another instant uh, play. You pay one, the next card you play this turn with an effect that deals arcane damage instead deals that much arcane damage plus one. So just great to throw that bit of arcane damage on there. Now, important thing to note, with the deck, you want to throw as much arcane damage in one go, in one source as possible. Obviously, you can only protect from so much arcane damage. You just can't keep throwing out cards. Your, equi your equipment will only allow you to defend against a certain amount. You know, if, if you might have three pieces of equipment that defend for a total of three, yeah? So you throw out your three resources. So with Arcane Damage, if you can really build that up, and which Kano will attempt to do, do it all in one go, then they're going to have troubles defending the majority of that. For sure, they're only going to defend a little bit of it and you get those hits in. Now, yeah, we'll go on to what more happens with this. Forked Lightning, one of his actual attacks that do, well, it's not an attack, it's a wizard action that actually does the arcane damage, just like a lightning bolt, exactly. So it deals two arcane damage to target hero and two arcane damage as well. It is counted as the one source, so you only have to defend against it once. So let's see where we go from here. Stir the Aether Winds, this is the beginning. You may play your next wizard attack non-action card this turn as though it were an instant and if it has an effect that deals arcane damage instead that effect deals that much more arcane damage plus three all right keep that in mind now these are one of the tricolor cards red okay yeah it costs two to do and yes it is expensive to start getting these things going however let's take a look at the next card well not this one the next one but this also deals some indirect damage. You may play your next wizard non-attack action card this turn as though it were an instant. If you played another wizard non-attack action card this turn, deal three arcane damage to each opposing hero. So fantastic. We're not even going to look at the multiplayer aspect of this. The fact it just pings for three. Annoying, yeah? And it is the one source of damage, but let's take a look at this. Cindering Foresight. Played as a red, if it's not your turn, so in your opponent's turn, you may play Cindering Foresight as though it were an instant. Okay, you, this is your instant setting up for your wizard action card that is played before the other cards are played. 
The next card you play this turn with an effect that deals arcane damage instead deals that much arcane damage plus one. You're getting the plus one, but in this you're getting the opt three. Yeah, you get to look at the top three cards of the deck, set them up in any order you want, and get ready. So we're in defense here, at which point you could throw away the eye, use Kano's ability, play something else by throwing out another energy, playing the Forked Lightning, if you wish, Cracking Boots, and you could also then play Snapback, which is the next card that we've got. Deal three arcane damage to target hero. If you have played another wizard non-attack action card this turn, you would play Snapback as though it were an instant. So you don't even need to crack the boots. I could snap the boots to throw this in if I really wanted to. So everything happens as an instant. One form of damage. Let's just count it up, people. You got four. If you wanted, if you had enough to spend for the crucible, five, six, seven, eight. This is dealing three by itself. We won't even count it. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Let's count it. 13, 14, 15. 15 damage, people, when you are supposed to be attacking and all of a sudden you're in defensive mode. Crazy. Now, just remember, we're talking late game potentially here. Kano has had a full-on attack Range, possibly got something in the arsenal as well. And you've gone into your attack phase and then they've just played this whole slew of cards, busted equipment, coming across 15 damage, you can defend for three. Like, we're talking 12, 12 damage. And if I've got it wrong, let's, let's go eight damage. Like, when you're late game, trying to attack and then this type of stuff happens, Oh my goodness, like, it's not safe to be sitting on eight life anymore. Like, you think you would be sitting on eight life and you don't want to get down to three or two life. Gone are those days. A leader such as this is totally destroying your day. It, it really is. All right, Tome of Fiendal, just to, just because, you know, draw two cards and if it's played from Arsenal, gain a life. Could you imagine that turn before if, they did that, set up their hand, put stuff in Arsenal that they needed or anything like that, or just came through for a real killer turn where you've had to really defend with your cards. And then you go into some type of an attack. They've drawn back up with their hand. You're playing your two or three cards that you had left, and then they hit you with all of this, and holy, what are you going to do? And just to rub it in, another three-pitch Energy Potion, zero cost, does cost them an action, but they gain two resources. And if they've got that early in game, or they've got a few of them early in game, and they pop all that to fuel that killer turn, oh my goodness. So people, let's just count it all up again. All right, bear with me. Shameless plug. <laughs> all right, so Kano, and we've got one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. That's it, people. This game is, it's, wow. It's just blown me out of the water. LSS, Legend Story Studios, has taken another step forward with just the complexity of their game and where you can take it. Like, you can play this fun, enjoyable, or you can really take it to that top level where a deck such as this, unexpected, can come in and just wreck your day. Wow. Thank you, everyone, for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it. If I got anything wrong or I missed anything, just throw it in the comments. would love to read it, and I'll see you on the next video. See you all.